Hello, members one and all of the Salivation Nation with some very strange news about gold and bacteria. That's right, it's no fairy tale according to Dana Dovey of Newsweek. Tiny bacteria spin gold from toxic heavy metals. A kind of bacteria invisible to the naked eye can not only withstand intense concentrations of heavy metals, it also digests them and releases gold as a byproduct. And now researchers have identified the secret to the bacteria's neat trick. The bacterium C. metalundurans lives in mineral and heavy metal rich soils. In order to live off the minerals, it has found a way to avoid being poisoned by the heavy metals using a process that creates something called secondary gold. This phenomenon was proven in 2009 research, is now explained in a new study published online called Metalomics. Sounds like a heavy metal band. Heavy metals are elements that are relatively high density, and many of these, such as Ardenus, lead, and mercury, can cause serious damage to living organisms at high enough exposures. These metals are found naturally in the Earth's crust. In the soil where C. metalladurons lives, the organism often comes into contact with two types of heavy metals, copper and gold. When this occurs, the bacterium converts copper and gold into a form that is easier to absorb. This is because both gold and copper place the bacterium at risk for heavy metal poisoning or metal toxicity. In its metallic form, gold is non-toxic, which is why we can eat ice cream with gold flakes. However, some natural gold compounds will break down in the body, releasing gold ions, which can have toxic effect on living organisms. The same goes for copper, but bacteria has another way to get rid of extra copper. This involves using an enzyme called Cup A that transforms both gold and copper back to the original, not as easy to absorb forms. This assures that fewer copper and gold uh, compounds enter the cellular interior. Uh, this bacterium is poison less and the enzyme that pumps out the copper can dispose of the excess copper unimpeded, explains study researcher Dietrich H. Nies in a statement. As a result of this process, gold compounds inside the bacteria are transformed into harmless microscopic gold nuggets. The team hoped to better understand this process in order to help humans obtain non-toxic gold in an easier and safer manner. Normally, in order to extract gold from ores, the ores are subjected to liquid mercury, which is then boiled away so that the gold remains. However, this process can be dangerous since mercury is the most toxic of all metals. Often, the leftover mercury is washed away and can lead to environmental pollution. We saw some of that with the, um, uh, with the, the case in Miami and, uh, and Puerto R in, in Peru and the other nations where a lot of this illegal gold mining had occurred. Nies told Newsweek that once this new process for generating gold is perfected, it could be used for any purpose. You can do everything with gold. However, bringing a ring to your love is the nicest way to use it, said Nies. Yeah, it's a very interesting indeed. Very fascinating. And uh, we shall see how this occurs and this technology, a new way to get gold. And what does that mean that um, if they make this more efficient, and that means they may be able to process more and, uh, and bring more gold into the marketplace, which means that um, increase of supply. We shall see. We thought that gold has reached peak production, but if this process is very successful and there's a way to actually extract it in such a manner as this, then who knows? We may not have reached peak production yet. It's a very interesting and fascinating uh, information here. Post what you thought about this story, about gold and coming out of bacterium. Very interesting indeed. I'd like to extend the multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, 
and subscribe.